Now we are going to connect the drive to the grid. We are going to connect it to the city grid. Commissioning and starting up the frequency converter towards the grid for the first time could be useful to start up in U-Grid with a drooping and select the drooping, not isosynchronous. Also turn off the PID regulator. Make sure that this is set to 0, 01 and not to 0, 02. Like this. Um, where we can monitor what's going on is here. You should look at the, the current, active current, reactive current, and the line frequency, line voltage, because that is what we measure with a D7 uh, small transformer on the grid. First, we pre-charge the drive. And there is two ways of doing this. Now, when the drive is charged, we could just connect it to the grid. I can look here at the oscilloscope. This is the city grid. Okay. If I connect to the grid now, I energize my transformer via the grid. The inrush had to come from the city. They don't always like that, so it's not a very delicate way of doing it. If I start my drive now, it will synchronize to the grid just like our active front end do it. Looking at the oscilloscope, we will see now that these two curves are exactly the same, of course, because it's measuring on each side of this contactor. So when the contactor is closed, this is the same. Then there is a number. That is the sync error. The sync error now is 520, which means that when we are synchronous, the sync error is 520. Okay, 520 is the golden number for this installation. So when I'm going to synchronize two networks, then it is what I'm looking for. If I'm opening this now, we are not anymore in synchronous, as we can see, we are missing the voltage, we are missing the frequency, we are missing everything. Ooh, how do we get it to synchronize? First of all, using the PID regulator when we are not connected to the grid is not a good idea. So, get the PID regulator off. And now we see that the frequency is drifting. Okay. We have the microgrid. Um, sync to external grid. Here we have an offset now of 1500. Is that, is that okay? I'm not sure. Let's activate the command for sync. Input signals, net synchronizations go to the RAM. And wheel! It did something, but it missed the grid. Well, 1500 was sure not okay. And the sinker is a lot off. So let's adjust this. Okay, I found that if I have a offset of 900, my two sinus curves are exactly the same. Well, it should be possible to just connect to the grid then. Yeah, and listen, no current going on. So this offset was okay. What, what happened if we miss this? Let's say we just put some crazy number here. Let's go off like this. What happened if I connect to the grid? Ah, that was a huge current. I could hear in the transformer that this was not good. I didn't like that. So, how to start with synchronizing to the grid? Now we have an external grid, this is a city grid. We start with pre-charging the drive. It goes up to the DC voltage, it starts there. We just start the thing. And now it's making the grid. It has magnetized the transformer so that the city don't have to 
magnetize it for it. Yeah. But the yellow is the frequency converter and the blue is the city. We are not synchronous. So what we have to do, we have to tell the drive to synchronize. And now it went in and found its nice beautiful sinus. And then we can connect to the grid. Your low currents, reactive currents and low. Okay, now we have to remember to bring off the synchronization bit. Input signals and I turn off the synchronization. The reactive currents went up a little bit. Activate the PID regulator for the voltage. The reactive current going down a little bit. That was the fan starting. And now we are ready for start charging the battery. Okay, to charge the battery I want to run in isosynchronous mode. So I find the microgrid here. I find the microgrid here. The grid mode drooping isosynchronous. Ah, it has to be starting from the PLC. Like that, like that. Now we are isosynchronous mode. With the isosynchronous mode, I can give a base current reference. I want a lot of charge of the battery, so now we're charging. The DC voltage will now increase. We have 60 amperes going on on the AC side, and I can see my DC voltage is increasing quite fast now and it's charging quite well. Here I can see my total current, active current. There is quite a lot of reactive current going on now, which is a little bit strange probably missing the voltage a little bit mm, yeah 417 the base free, the base grid nominal is something lower grid nominal is something lower I dropped it and uh, if you look at the reactive current now it's almost nothing so by adjusting the grid nominal voltage, I managed to find adjust this voltage a little bit. Also make sure that the PID regulator is activated. Now that we are charging the battery quite well, let's try to feed the city instead. Now we are feeding 25 ampere to the city from the battery. And all this we do with a base current reference in isosynchronous mode. So the way to control the active current to the battery is with a base current reference to the drive in a system bonus mode. Thank you for watching and the next uh, training session will be a more advanced function on the grid. We will look at how we connect it to the power management to our ship and how to use it for a peak shaver on our ship. Thank you.